morning, my friends. Welcome to Saturday. It is Drunk Pokeroo time. It is indeed Big Boozy Cafe Del Bastardo time. The return of last year's favorite stout from the Pokies of 2016 certainly brought joy to my heart. I hope it brings joy to yours. Um, but you know what? Let's just get into it. So, last year when this got released, I drank it in February, and it stuck with me so strongly that when I wrote my top 10 stouts in December, it was still the best stout I'd had. So that says a lot about coming out of Nickelbrook, what they had done, because there was a lot of great stouts I had last year. Um, once again, Wax Top, Nickelbrook includes that little, you know, kind of hint. Uh, I was talking to some people about this this weekend at Block 3 about, you know, getting the wax off your top, and it's it just running under a little hot water, and it just peels right off. So no big deal. Uh, let's get into it. Big boozy, as we said, 14.5%. Um... God, I love this stout last year. Now, Saturday morning, what a nice time to have a coffee stout. You know, why not? Oh, jeez, look at that. Like, I don't know, can you catch how deep, deep tan that head is? The body is so dark. I mean, this is just, like, all I'm smelling here is just wafts of coffee. I mean, if you look at last year's review, same thing. Just punch you in the face with coffee. So, happy Saturday morning. Let's get it off on the right foot, eh? Cheers. Probably not doing any chores today. Oh, that's so smooth. So, I mean, it's it's a boozy beer, okay? It's, it's got an alcohol punch in the back end, no doubt, no doubt at all. But what it has is loads of coffee flavor. That black, roasted coffee, dark, bittersweet chocolate, cocoa, nuttiness. It is a very complex beer, and yet so smooth. I mean, I think that's what drew me to it. That's what, that's what stuck with me last year is that... This is a big beer, you know, a lot of booze, but it doesn't taste like that. I mean, that's a warming, that warming presence on the back end is certainly, you know, means you're not driving anywhere anytime soon. I mean, you're going to enjoy the rest of the day just hanging out in the house, you know, maybe watch a movie or two, maybe get Mrs. Poker to drive me to Nickelbrook to pick up new uh, Malevolent that's coming out this weekend. That's something you can do too, but uh, man, man. I mean, is it going to go back to the top of the list in 2017? Hey, I'm not going to lie. It's already there. So it's going to it's going to take a lot to dethrone the champion. I'm um, loving the new label, too. The new Cafe Del Vista label. Last year was just a pilot project. This year, regular rotation. So get it before it's gone. You can get it at the bottle shop. Like I said, you can pick up the new Malevolent Black IPA that just came out. Black Imperial IPA. Awesome. Um, or you can get it on the LCBO uh, delivery app. So either deliver it to your house or deliver it to an LCBO close to you. But seriously, guys, you don't want to miss out on this one. This is one of the best stouts you're ever going to get your hands on. It's a slow sipper of the very first, the very highest order. I am going to go and run enjoy the rest of my Saturday. So um, I'll see you next week. You guys, enjoy the rest of your Saturday and just take it easy, eh? No need to, to worry about nothing. Hand it all over to Cafe Del Bastardo and Nickelbrook. Cheers, my friends. Yeah, you're the best. Mm -hmm.